All right, so this place is called Lazy Kaiman or Teurunago. Lazy Alligator. It's actually a pretty nice cafe. They got chill spots everywhere. And upstairs. Huh, you can see it's super popular with everybody. But this is not the primary reason I'm here. The reason why this place is called the Lazy Alligator is because it's right below a famous hill that's called the Alligator Hill. And you'll see once I get to the top. <laughs> Apparently there's a lot of people here and it's not a coincidence. I didn't realize that today is Hangul Day, which is like the day they celebrate the creation of the Korean alphabet. It's a holiday. That's why you got so many people here. Good news is, is that the trail is very obvious. I don't think you can get lost. But it's really steep. What? What the? Ah. Ah. So I'm at the top and it's the longest line I've ever seen. Check this out guys. Definitely didn't disappoint. It's even better in person. So they call this alligator peak because these individual branches, they look like alligators going out into the sea. This would be probably the best angle. I would recommend you get a wide angle lens though because it's so vast. All right, that wraps it up. I swear I spent more time waiting in line there than climbing up the freaking mountain. But it was really worth it. And if it wasn't for a national holiday, I think it would be fine. It was just ignorance of me not knowing national holidays in Korea. What's up everybody? Welcome back. So I have a bit of a problem. I'm only halfway done through what I planned today again because of some setbacks. Uh, the roads are, <laughs> I was going to say it's better, but it is better back to where I originally planned. But honestly, my fallback is camping at the same spot I camped on the first night. So I'm hoping to find a better camp spot. There wasn't like a grave here. This would have been fantastic. But let's see. Let's see if I can get a place to uh, camp out for the night. So I got to experience some really nice roads there. But now, back to some more unpaved roads. But I gotta say the theme here with Chungju is the best views are on the unpaved road. Except of course, the one mistake I made was going up that apple orchard. Just avoid that one. Oh, that was a bit of a low stretch. The views are quite amazing here. Look at all that aluminum foil. It's for the apples, so they get more sun. It's funny, wherever I see trash, although I don't like it, that's where I also expect campsites, but it ends up just being a graveyard. Gotta keep moving. Holy crap, look at this site, guys. It's a bit of a detour, but I'm so glad I came on it. Alright, I've seen better sights, but I stopped by because it's a viewpoint. Lots of people here. It's pretty nice. 
super windy and breezy. So originally I was gonna make a left over there and go through Chengju city, but I see a lot of people coming through this way. I stopped here because it was a big rest area. So I'm gonna take this path around Chengju Lake and bypass Chengju city. It's a city that I'll visit in the future anyways because it's relatively close to my home and uh, I don't have the time to go to Yimar and buy this hamgyeopsal like I originally planned to anyway so I'll just take the more scenic route. All right actually on the right hand side there's a little hiking trail. Tons of people walking it. It's good enough to walk it for sure but I'm just getting a brief preview of it. Wow! Tons of pathways here. You're gonna get to some kind of a small lake. Uh, this is part of the Chongdengikgyu. And then there's Osolkyu, I believe. I don't know, some Korean. Please translate for me if you're Korean in the comments. Oh my god, this is so fantastic. I'm so happy I took this detour. Alright, guys, so I'm actually at the Chungju Dam. So on this side, you're bypassing the dam. You can't really see it. And I think that's why they're doing construction through that tunnel. So in the future, if you go through this area, you'll be able to get a great view of the dam. Man, I'm just noticing a lot of factories here on the northern side of Chungju. Must be like an industrial center. You know, Chuncheon was my favorite city. Now I gotta say, Chungju is. It's got that old school 90s soul vibe. I like it. It's got like the hipster joints but there's just like a working class the vibe to this city. So many bridges here! Hello? So it looks like you can camp out here, but you can't cook or anything. Unfortunately, I'm hungry and there's just like a lot of people here. I don't know, it's just a bit too family friendly for me. <laughs> My motor camping trips are like supposed to be wild and this is way too domesticated. But yeah, it's nice. They got like big sponge full moons that kids are pushing around. Nice family friendly atmosphere. I mean, I, I really like the city. Um, unfortunately, you can't fly drones here because I, I'm pretty sure there's like an air force base or something. Sorry guys, but I had to come back. I uh, took a wrong turn somewhere and I was close to the freeway and I decided it would be a lot easier to just, you know, book it down home. Drove like 150 kilometers in pitch black, which was an adventure in itself. Plus my GoPro battery died, which is another reason I'm like, another day isn't really gonna do much if I can't even film it. Whatever the case, hope you enjoyed the series. It's still pretty sunny out. Even if I'm not camping it out there, I'll definitely be checking out some mountains. Soraksan in the fall. It's gonna be epic. Have that plan for next week. And uh, we may still do a trip along the East Coast and possibly to Jeju. Hope you take care. And uh, I gotta get to fixing my motorcycle and such. So see you later. <laughs>